after successfully installation of school admin software now the question arises how to run this particular software uh, for that we need to start a server and let me tell you where this particular software and application is stored uh, the steps follow should be go to star click on all programs go to school admin folder you can find three different folders like school admin start school admin server stop school admin server so now click on start school admin server okay, the server is getting on and now click on school admin application application get started up before that i'll tell you how to stop in a server end of the day when you want to close application click on stop school admin server the application gets stops now we'll click on school admin application gets started if you have any issues or queries about the application you can contact us then would my 2229411 or you can send an uh, email on info at marvelsoft.co.in that's inf at the rate of marvelsoft.co.in or for more details you can log in to website called www.marvelsoft.co.in that is www.marvelsoft.co.in once, uh, uh, once the server gets started once the application gets opened up this would be the uh, login sheet and here the name and the password is been set by has an admin by default the user can change the name and the password at the later stage but initially for the first inst uh, after the first installation the name would be admin a d m i n and the password would be also again a d m i n both the name and the password would be in the lower case and uh, changing the name and the password will be discussed in the later chapter called settings now uh before that uh, below the login uh, login button you can see a message saying please set the school profile which means the school details has to be updated so now after entering the name and the password click on login button now uh, after clicking on the enter the name sheet we have to enter so details school details section of school uh, details uh here you can see an a message saying that please enter the fee groups in the fee group master which means after entering the school details next you have to enter the few things uh which is in master block that would be discussed in the next chapter called master now we'll see how to update the school details like enter the school name i'll mention the school details has demo school and the address would be jp nagar and the city would be bangalore in fact either of them from the uh, drop down box and state would be karnataka and the state zip code telephone number since they are not mandatory uh, you can leave it blank or else you can fill it up and the next telephone number would be any random data and to add school logo or school photo click on add button select the image and click on upload it's get uploaded the image format is in jpg make sure the image format is right now after entering the school details click on update button now it says a message called as school profile updated successfully now we have to define academic here. now select switch academic here and click on add button. enter academic here has uh, 2009 to 2010 this would be the range of academic here and the number of terms where you have to specify the number of exams conducted in this particular here say two exams are conducted in number of test enter the number of test conducted during this academic here has four now the number of Uh, now the profile uh, profile from date here you have to specify the range of the year to do that select from which date the academic year starts say 1st april 2009 from here the academic year starts next till when till 31st march 2010 between these two dates whatever the activities are been happened will be accumulated in this particular year so now click add so this particular year has been added successfully 
and similarly you can add more and more academic here here after entering the academic here you have to set the academic here has a current academic here to do that now select the academic here over here range here which you have defined it now select switch academic here and this academic here 2009 and 10 will be set as academic uh, current academic here now you want to say yes to this and now you can see the current academic here is set as 2009 and 10 so the any activities like entering the school uh, students details entering their marks attendance uh, payment of the students everything will be happening with respect to this particular here after this the user has to log out and re-log in now coming to the masters and you have to enter all the mandatory and this will be discussed in the next coming chapter